Hi, and welcome to Real Recaps. Today, we shall recap a 2018 Japanese thriller science fiction movie titled Inu Ishiki. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. At the beginning of the movie, we are introduced to Iro, Akiro Inu Ishiki, a hard-working middle-class man who bought a new house for his family. However, they don't seem to like it very much because it's smaller than all the other houses in the neighborhood. The kids seem lazy and ungrateful, but their father bought sushi for the family as a way to celebrate after they settle. But they don't want to eat at home, so they go to a restaurant without their dad, leaving him all alone. He eats his food all by himself. While at work, Iro's idea of selling energy drinks is greatly disliked by his boss. His boss claims this is costing the company a lot of money. Iro apologizes to everyone at work while his boss yells at him. When he gets home from a hard day, he sees a thief stealing from a man who looks like him. Iro turns around out of fear, but his daughter sees him and calls him a coward for sitting outside his house. As you can see, even his own family doesn't like him. He is deeply misappreciated and disregarded, it's such a hard thing to be Iro. After her daughter has left her, Iro sees a straight dog coming toward him. She goes by the name Hanuka, and the main character feels like they have a lot in common. He tries to get away from the dog, but the dog seems to like him. Meanwhile, Iro's wife tells him to get rid of the dog as soon as she sees him with her. She gives him a report about his recent medical exam, which says he needs to go through more tests. The doctor tells Chuo that his cancer is in the fourth stage and that he has about three months to live. The news is terrible. He calls his wife to tell her something, but she doesn't pick up the phone. A good father he is, Iro calls his daughter, but when he does, she doesn't answer the phone. He tries to tell his family about his illness, but they are too busy with their own lives and keep blaming the father for everything that goes wrong. The wife tells her husband that they have to get rid of the dog, but she doesn't see the pain in his eyes. Iro walks his pet out into the street and wonders if his family will even cry for him when he dies. He asks the dog, will you cry for me? He says he's sorry to Hanuka and tries to leave her behind, but she keeps following him around. They are now inseparable friends. After failing to leave his loyal friend, Iro realizes that Hanukkah is the only thing in the world that cares about him and says sorry over and over again for leaving his friend. He sees a young man seated and deep thinking. When they see bright light coming toward them, they both look up and a strong flash strikes both of them. The dog is scared and runs away. They are both hit by some strange magical fast-moving powers that surprises both of them, and both Iro and the young man pass out. Hanuka keeps barking even though he is surrounded by strange animals. When he wakes up in the morning, his dog is next to him, and he can see perfectly well without his glasses, which is a surprise. Hiro goes home together with his dog and as usual, he's rebuked greatly but he heads for breakfast. However, anything he eats tastes good and the water from the fountain makes them very thirsty. When he gets to his room, he sees that his left hand is smoking. Then it turns into a big gun and shoots what looks like the soup he just drank. His whole body starts to change and open up, revealing mechanical parts under the skin. He was greatly surprised when he looked himself in the mirror. As soon as his wife walks into the room, Iro's body goes back to normal. Mary, Hiro's daughter, is in the same class as Hiro, the man who was with his father last night. He goes to see his friend Choco and decides to show him how strong he got last night by shooting a bird with his fingers from a long way away. Hiro then takes his friend to an underground parking lot, where he shows how he can use his mind to control cars and pulls his mechanical body out from underneath. He is now a superhero. Meanwhile, at work before Iro goes back home, he is humiliated and wants to be sacked from work before he begs not to be dropped. As Iro leaves work at the same time and sees an injured pigeon on the floor, he helps the animal out of kindness, and to his surprise, he is able to get it well enough to fly again. He hears another voice of pain far away and runs to the hospital, where he finds a boy who is very sick and about to die. Iro puts a hand on the boy and is able to make him feel better. He leaves happy, just like the pigeon did when he saw the mother and son together again. On the other hand, Hiro brings his friend to the bullies and tells them they need to apologize and give back the money they stole from his friend Chaco. He grabs the bully's arm, hurts him, and keeps doing this until he gets what he wants. Hiro points his finger at the man, and just as he is about to kill him, Choco stops him and tells him to stop. Cheyenne, a girl, sees how brave he seems and tells him she likes him in the hallway. Hiro thanks her for being kind, and she gives him a great appreciation. We later find out that Hiro's mother is no longer married to his father, because even though he loved her, left her for another woman. He was about to shoot him with his hand, but he didn't. She still cares about his health and wants Hiro to spend time with his dad. He eats dinner with them and their family at their house. But as you can see, their happiness makes Hiro even more angry because he thinks something big was taken from him. Hiro points his finger toward his family while playing with his half-brother, but he hesitates to pull the trigger. He stops when he looks at his father and realizes that he still cares about the man, no matter what he's done. 
Hiro walks home alone and hears how happy all the other families are. He goes into one of the houses and starts shooting everyone inside. At the hospital, Hiro perceives that someone needs help after he had helped so many get better. He runs to the house and finds the girl with a bullet hole in her head. He tries to save her with his power, but soon finds out that it only works on living things. When he walks into the living room, he sees Hiro standing over the dead bodies. Hiro knows he has seen the man before in the park, but before he can say anything, the hero attacks him and knocks him down. He gets up without being hurt. He runs out of the house and sees Hiro flying off into the distance. Choco sees Hiro and thinks that his friend killed the people who died last night by shooting them with his bare hand. Hiro was wrong to kill the family, but he thinks it's okay because he is a god. He says that strangers die every day, no matter what, and that they shouldn't feel bad for people they don't even know. Choco doesn't like this, so he moves away in fear. He tells Hiro that they can't be friends anymore, and then he runs away from the murderer. Hiro's mother tells him, to his surprise, that he has to live with his father when he goes home to see her. She will now say that she has cancer that can't be treated and that her doctors have told her she won't live much longer. Hiro cries as he hugs his mother and promises that he will never let her die. Hiro goes home to tell his family that he was dropped from his workplace. His wife yells at him because she is worried about their mortgage, and his daughter is mad at him because he is such a fool. Hiro feels bad that he can't protect his own family, and he doubts that he can stop the killings and help other people. Importantly, Hiro doesn't like that fact that his family treats him with such disrespect. He hears Choco's voice, and he knows that his best friend is praying for someone to stop him from killing more people. Hiro realizes he needs to stop doubting himself and decides to use his powers to stop Hiro from killing people. He turns into a robot and flies up into the sky with Hanuka on his back. Hiro has decided to use his magnificent powers to help people instead of killing them. Hiro goes to the park, where she meets Choco. They talk about what happened that night, and Choco thinks that aliens must have put Hiro and Hiro back together. He thinks they must have the same skills, so he trains Hiro based on what he's seen a hero do. Hiro goes to a junkyard and tries to shoot a tin can with their hands. He made very many multiple attempts and he simply made a light hit. Let's just say that the old man has a long way to go before he can even get close to beating Hiro. On the other hand, when Hiro takes his mother to the doctor, he finds out that the cancer has left her body completely, probably because her son used magic to help her get better. They walk home together. Hiro tries to get his mother to take vacations and have some fun. He tells her that because her life has been hard from the start, he will make her happy. But their joy doesn't last long. When a group of police officers comes to see them, the men have to ask Hiro about the murders. As soon as his mother calls his name, he runs away. The police officers are running around like rag dolls and into the parking lot. He uses his powers to escape from and kill three of the officers while the others shoot at him but don't hurt him. Hiro runs away after jumping off the stairs. As soon as word gets out about how he got away, Hiro is on the run and everyone else is looking for or hiding from him. Lucky for him, he runs into Zan, who decides to take him in despite the fact that he's in trouble. We learn that Zan lives with her grandmother, who is the only member of her family she still has. Her parents died of sickness a long time ago, and she doesn't think she will live very long either. On the other hand, Akiro is finally making some progress in his training, but all the hard work wears him out quickly. He gets thirsty again, so he goes to the company where he works and gets an energy drink. Shoko thinks that because they are so thirsty, the water must give them energy. Kiro's body starts to hurt after they use their weapons, so he vomits out the liquid, just like he did the last time. Shoko figures out quickly that the sodium could be making his body act up, and they might be able to use this to their advantage later that night. Meanwhile, Hiro sees that his mother is being blamed for what he did on the news about her. She keeps saying she's sorry, but no one feels bad for her. When he realizes that the person he loves most is now paying for the bad things he did, he is remorseful and starts to cry. In the news, Iro learns that his mother was found dead in her apartment. It looks like she killed herself because the pressure from the media was too much. When the hero hears this, he is shocked. He starts to read the comments on the video and finds that everyone is swearing at the name of his mother. Hiro gets mad and uses his skills to break into the computers of the people who made the comments. He starts shooting at everyone through their screens, killing a lot of people all over the country. She notices that Hiro can't sleep at night after looking at their devices and tries to comfort him. But the man says that he killed all those people. He changes into something scary and stands in front of her to scare her away. But she won't believe that the man she loves is a killer. Hiro rushes her outside and lifts her up into the air. Then he asks Shin if this makes her feel scared. But the fact that he might leave is the only thing that makes the girl nervous. He realizes that she is the only person left who cares about him, so he promises to protect her and stay with her forever. Hiro can finally sleep, and Shin tells him with a smile that he's very human. She goes to the kitchen and feels something next to her. 
When Shin turns around, he sees a big group of soldiers with their guns pointed at him. Hiro sees her and grabs her right away, but the soldiers keep firing at him. To get back at them, he gets angry, turns around, and kills them all. When everything settles down, he sees that Shin is already dead and has been shot several times. Hiro is sad about his friend's death, so he decides to kill everyone in the country. Meanwhile, Akira watches the news and hears about the most recent murders. In order to keep them safe, he tells his family to turn off their phones, but they don't listen and still go outside, even though it's dangerous. At the top of a tall building, Mary meets up with her friends, who are taking in the view. Hiro starts talking about himself on every network and tells everyone that he wants to destroy the country to get revenge for his family. No one takes him seriously until he starts shooting at a big group of people and people start dying everywhere. Everyone is scared and running around in a mess, but there is nowhere to hide from his attacks. Hiro can penetrate into the signal, and Choco tells everyone to throw away their phones so they can escape the attack, without a way to get in touch with a lot of people. Hiro decides to attack people directly by sending a lot of missiles into the city and setting off explosions everywhere. Hiro finds Hiro and tries to tell him to stop, but the young man won't listen. He further tells him, the powers they attained was to save but not destroy people. The little hero won't listen and continues to pursue the old man. As he chases them through the sky, they go through buildings in the city, and the hero stays close to the old man. He starts shooting a lot of missiles, but Hiro is able to avoid them, and they explode right behind them. They go through a tunnel underground, and cars coming the other way almost hit Hiro. As they get closer to Mary, Mary's father can hear her begging for help because one of the missiles hit her building. The old man tries to get to his daughter quickly, but Hiro attacks him from behind. The old man can no longer fly, so he has to land on the side of a building. Hiro tries to shoot at the men, but he dodges the bullets and kicks them through the building. They run into a helicopter, which gets pushed into the walls and explodes. When they get to the roof, Hiro keeps begging the hero to stop killing the young man. The hero pulls out a bottle of water and tries to charge it, but Hiro stops him. Hiro runs up to the old man and takes his water. He drinks the whole bottle and then keeps shooting missiles, by tossing Hiro out of the window. Hiro goes after the old man as they fly deeper into the sky. He fires more missiles at Hiro, which causes an explosion that sends Hiro into space. Hiro gives him a punch and then grabs the old man so he can finish the fight with one more blow. He spit out what he thought was water, but it turned out to be an energy drink which was replaced by Hiro. Hiro turns his arm into a gun and fires a lot of projectiles, sending a hero flying toward Earth. Furthermore, the explosions send the old man flying towards the building where his daughter is. When he gets there, he finds Mary still lying on the ground. He does everything he can to bring her back to life and lucky for Hai, he is successful. As the old man's tears fall far away, they hug each other. Unfortunately, someone kicks him from the side, letting him fly into the walls. It turns out that the hero survived the fall and has come back to get even. He attacks Mary and shoots her in the stomach when he finds out that she is the old man's daughter. As HRO steps in, the hero hits the old man like a ragdoll and keeps beating him in front of the man's daughter. He makes multiple attempts to kill the old man, unfortunately, he could not die. He grabs Mary and brings her to the edge of the building. Hiro throws the old man's daughter off the rooftop because she wants her father to feel as hopeless as she does. When the old man sees his family about to be killed, he gathers all of his strength and flies toward Hiro. He crashes him into little pieces and rips off his arm as he flies toward the man's daughter. Hiro moves down and can see that Mary is still falling. Just as the girl is about to fall, he reaches out and grabs her. Mary wakes up and finds out that her dad is a hero because he healed her. She sees him hurry off to help as many people as possible. The government knows that Hiro is dead, but they haven't been able to find his body yet. Hiro keeps eats dinner with his family as if nothing is wrong, but now his daughter can see that he really is a hero. Choco goes home and is surprised to see that Hiro is still alive, but he is missing an arm. He's glad to see that his friend is still alive after the fight, so he invites him to play the newest video game. After Choco finds the game, he turns around and sees that Hiro has already left. He leaves because he knows that Hiro's presence would put his best in danger. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the movie. Please like, comment with your favorite part of the movie and subscribe to see more films like this and I shall see you in the next film. Take care. Peace.